We've looked at using meta mode and braids to create glitchy percussive sound using external modulation sources. By installing the Bees in the Trees alternate firmware, a powerful internal meta mode sequencer is added to Braid, along with an arsenal of extra tools. The Bees in the Trees firmware created by Tim Churches adds many extra modes to the existing Braid's design. By sacrificing some rarely used scales and noise shapes, Bees in the Trees makes room for an internal sample and hold, complex modulation routing, and a touring machine on top of the 8-step meta mode sequencer. The standard meta mode is still available and can be found in the FMCV menu, which allows the FM input to be routed to control almost any aspect of braids. Bees in the Trees adds many extra pages to the menu, including the meta sequencer page about 40 pages in. Don't worry, the pages scroll quickly. The meta mode sequencer appears on the page listed MSEQ. Press the encoder and the sequencer can be switched from off to between 2 and 8 steps. I'll set it to 8 steps and press the encoder to leave that menu. The sequencer steps in response to pulses or gates at the trig input, so I've routed a clock into braids. Let's skip 3 pages over to wave 1, where we can set the wave shape for the first of 8 steps. Pressing the encoder, we can see that the menu includes every wave shape available in braids. I'll select one and press the encoder, setting wave two to wave eight on the subsequent pages. The note one to note eight pages set transposition amount for each of the eight steps within a three octave range above or below the current pitch. Repeat 1 to repeat 8 allows each step to repeat up to 127 times before continuing to the next step. The parameter 1 to parameter 8 pages allow us to apply a parameter value between 0 and 127 to each step and then assign that changing value to a destination on the MSPD or Meta Sequence Parameter Destination page. The step parameters can be assigned to timbre, color, level, or any combination of the three, allowing for stepped alteration of these parameters. With eight step control over wave shape, pitch, repeat, and another assignable parameter, the Meta Sequencer is capable of some interesting possibilities. By setting each meta sequence step to the same wave, the note and parameter assignments can be used to dramatic effect. One possibility is to control the chord structure of the wavetable times 4 mode by assigning parameter mode to the color knob. Altering the meta sequence, we can easily craft rich bass lines and complex leads, or an internal beat using the drum shapes. Combined with an internal envelope and LFO, things get wild very quickly. How are you using the Braids Bees in the Trees alt firmware? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching and sharing, and as always, please like, follow, and subscribe.